Arden Key is interesting. Yes. Arden yes. Key is young too. Uh, he was with the Raiders. I liked Arden Key when he came out of LSU. I thought he was a hell of a natural pass rusher. I know he. there were some reasons he dropped in the draft, but basically some guys can bend around the edge and some guys can't. He can He can do it. And he, he had like no sacks for the Raiders. I don't know what happened. Mm -hmm. They gave up on him. Niners got him. And they have Chris Kosar. And as soon as it happened, I was like, this is the kind of thing that he can work with. Also, in, in the in the chat, uh, Barry Baller eighteen has been hyping this dude up forever. I want good, to yeah, and that's a good call. That's a great call. That's a great. I call. was a little, I was a little skeptical. I hadn't seen much, but he's been flashing the last couple of days. Uh, yes. What have you seen from Arden? I mean, he's he's he blew up that play with Trey Lance. He got he yeah. got in so quickly that he but was like being clowny college play, right? Right, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Like he didn't even yeah. want to like hand the ball off, like, and that's why it fell. And then and then look, uh, it's one thing to cause the fumble. He picked it up, and that's a touchdown. That's that's a play that's something that you know. Look, essentially, right here, essentially like this, the 49ers kind of swapped Solomon Thomas for Arden Key and Maurice Hurst. Like I, when the when, when the Raiders did that, I was like, guys, you guys are, you guys are so dumb. <laughs> well, what I don't know if they're thinking? so. I don't. I don't know if they're so dumb, but I. You know what? I will applaud the 49ers for. So that, dumb. You can Try. say that. I can't say that. <laughs> um, I applaud the 49ers for always taking chance on athletes. And always taking chance on guys who are, are uh, you know, spark score guys and and yeah. and Chris Kosarek getting what they got out of him. Arden Key has been very promising. He looks incredible these last two days. Um, you know, we've been covering me and Jordan, Splash Cousin of Niners Nation. Shout out to him. Um, we've been covering. He's been big on him and been talking to me about him for a while, too, as well. But he has been flashing the entire time um, with the second team. How much of that has to do with Tom Compton? How much of that has to do with his own skill? That's one or two things. But I will say this. The 49ers will not be able to uh, be as top heavy as they were in 2019 because you're not going to get a better four than Bosa, Ford, Armstead, Buckner um, on a line. But this off this defensive line might be deeper, 100 percent deeper and that's more than it was. Actually, yes, it's yes. more important. You yes. need to be like seven deep to have a, a dominant D line. Because if yes. you don't, if you're not seven deep, then you're only going to have a dominant D line for like three quarters. Three quarters, and that's it. And it's about it's about yeah. the fresh legs, and it's exactly. about being you know DJ Jones looks good, Arden Key looks good. This is the, and and this defensive line, as much as so again, top heavy twenty nineteen can't beat those four. Def, depth wise, it's it's deeper than twenty nineteen so far from what I've seen, and 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 that's you know not no hyperbole or anything like that. Started deep, but then Blair went down. Guys went down. Yep. Uh, it happens. Lisa Niners got guys now. I mean, D four actually. Coming he's out. playing. He yeah. he shows up with the he showed up with the ones yesterday and today he just he made his way later and he was working on the side eleven on eleven is good. It doesn't matter. Like I said, get D four ready for for Sundays and put him in on passing downs and uh, that's it. No, uh, in the sense that he hasn't been in, in in a competitive portion yet. Neither is D Ford. Neither is Bosa. Neither is Hurt. But of all those guys, Ford looks the closest to coming back. He it's looks good. Thing. He looks good. He doesn't look like he has many limitations. When I see him moving, because it, it's good, because when 11 on 11s are happening, in between plays, I'll take a look and I'll look over, and I'll see D Ford moving and running. And I'm like, man, he has no limitations at all. And, uh, yeah, I, I, it's it's an, it's an amazing thing. The, the thing that I took away was um, today, you know, the, the team comes out first. They run their their little uh, drills real quick, you know, with no helmets on. So Bosa was there. Um you know, Kinlaw was there, but they were just running like soft, like, you know, soft rushes and things like that. But the, this D4 thing is really encouraging. I don't want to get too ahead of myself, but he is looking fine, I think. And they're doing exactly what they should be doing. Don't get him ready for Sunday. Get him ready for Sunday. That's it. Stop messing around with practice. That's been his MO since he came out of college. Don't change things. No, he didn't. He got zero yes, targets. Yes, he did. Yes, he when, did. When? When? Let me look. He got one. Can when? You remember? He got one. I can't. No, he didn't catch it. Someone else caught it. Oh, <laughs> come on! That was he was the he was the intended receivers. No joke. He was. He was. He was. But in drills, Juice was killing every defender in front of him. I cannot. I cannot overemphasize this. He never gets any targets. He got one today, and it was picked off. It wasn't his fault. <sighs> it wasn't his fault. He was the ball shouldn't have gone. It was not his fault to say that. Anyway, yeah. uh, free juice. Yeah, free juice. Grant, what about when Nick Bosa collapsed during – what? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? That didn't happen. I don't know what you're talking about, bro.